Hey, uh, you know what I'm what bloody annoys me? I wrote a piece, um, so, made some comments the other day about the uh, very brief ones about these killings. I mean, it's just insanity. These what's happening here? You know, L.A., uh, 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 Iowa. Half Moon Bay, it's going crazy. I have a Chinese American friend. He said to me, "What's happening? We're behaving like white folks because so often in the past it's been well, uh, that's been a tendency for white workers to go off in that way. But uh, we all suffer from sickness uh, of society, and that's why it's so frustrating about the the the, the news. It's it doesn't deal with the issue, and and, and folks, the right." And just genuine conservatives who are not nuts. Millions of us own guns in this country. And it, the guns are not the focus. It should not be the focus. Because they'll use that to divert us, like they do with everything else, to, to divert us from the, the crisis of the society we live in. It's a stressful... You're, a, you're nothing, you're, you're tr you're, you're, the U.S. Uh, regime and capitalism, U.S. capitalism, just has no respect for human life. Americans live under massive pressure, fear of lack of health care, fear of housing. Uh, I went down to a little restaurant. I go down the, uh, yesterday when I was walking, the dog got me a, a, a super taco. I couldn't sit outside. I said, why is that? The woman said to me, uh, well, you know, the homeless, they sit here and they, they, they smoke and they do this. And she wasn't aggressive toward them. And I said, yeah, I said, they need a place to go. They need, we don't take care of them. And she agreed, you know, and uh, it's, it's, it's everybody, health care, it's just insane, the debt people get into. So, so uh, this whole thing with the guns is, uh, and with the killings and the way we treat each other in this country and the incarceration and everything else is to do with the society in which we live. And of course, they always ignore the issue of a society. We don't live in systems, in social systems. The only time they talk about a social system is when they talk about socialism or communism. It's this, it's a system, communism failed, socialism failed, Russia, the Soviet Union wasn't communist, it wasn't socialist, but they use those terms it's very useful to them and so that's other than that we don't live in a system there's no classes and as I say many many times uh, they're obsessed with identity politics especially in this country what gender you are what sex you are what 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 color you are what a uh, color is a race as you know uh, which is not it's not uh, uh, and and so forth. So and I was thinking of one other little, just constant reminder. It's one of those everything that happens to us that makes us go off. And um, we we're, we're like any other animals. If we look at chickens in um, under industrial chicken farms, they peck each other to death. They're psychologically damaged. We look at a goldfish bowl, a goldfish in a, in a bowl, and it gets sick. We first check the water. A plant is sick. We check the soil. We check its nutrients and so forth. Just that's a given. Society, no. You know, the person is crazy. Asian hate. What what, what is Asian hate? What what is evil? Oh, it's evil. Even Zelensky, he's a he's a he's a comedian and a, a, a Hollywood showman. So he he's a Russian evil. What is Russian evil? You know these abstract terms that mean nothing, anything but an analysis of the objective conditions that, n that in which we grow and function. And I was thinking of a little one today. I've got to call the Social Security. I call Social Security. I'm on for 48, 50 minutes. Eventually, but before I get on, I've got to press all the buttons. The first thing uh, 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 that gets me is you're, uh, you can do all our so-and-so online. That's the first thing. Secondly, uh, um, uh, 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 yeah, do, first thing was do all the th thing online. Second, that we have a large volume of calls. Things have changed. Uh, our, our menus change. All the same thing. Everywhere you call, there's a large volume of calls. Uh, our menus have changed. Blah, blah. They want to send you online so that you do it yourself. And sometimes you can, and a lot of times you can't, and older people especially can't. And so I get through to that. And then I think to myself, I eventually got the person. Of course, she was great. But you know what? That's a microaggression. And you know what? They always talk about microaggressions in relation to identity. You know, gay people get a lot of microaggressions. Uh, even from people who think they're not being aggressive. I understand what that means, and, and, and I get it. Racial minorities. Uh, and anybody that's uh, somewhat marginalized in society and not considered the norm. Uh, for whatever reason. Well, that's a microaggression. 
trying to call up some government agency, trying to call up some place, the water district, the, the, the energy district, the, and you, you go through these, the, the, this computer that you talk to that you can't win with because they don't, you, they don't talk back. When he said to me, you can find most of this stuff online, well, I wouldn't be calling you if, it was, if I could do it online. And then they said to her, they, they gave me the same line again. You can find this online. I can maybe answer a question. I said, representative. They said, I hear you want a representative, but maybe I can if you tell me, you know, and I just hit a zero, 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 zero and got rid of it. That's a microaggression. And it happens millions and millions upon times every day when you can't get medical care, when you can't get your tooth fixed, when you can't get on a bus, when you can't get the water district, when you can't get this. You have to go through this thing that tells you that they care about your call and they don't. That's the question, not the person that answers eventually, the people that have the power here. I went in the bank yesterday to do something and the young woman it has, you know, it has an um, associate. And I told her, you're not an associate, you're a worker. I said, you, you, no, he said team member. It's one of those two normally. I said, you're a worker. I said, you know, I was active in the unions and I remember when this term came in more and more and more and more and I raised it at the Central Labour Council. I'm not an associate. I'm not a team member. And we had quite a good chat and she said, I've never thought of it that way. I said, you make no decisions about, about what goes on in this bank uh, or anything. I said, you're not a, a team member. You never can hold the ball. And we had a good chat about that. But the fact that she said, I've never thought of it that way. I said, you're working class. You're a working person. When I came to this country, they asked me, uh, uh, and, and people told me I'm middle class. I was quite insulted. I've never had any aspirations for that. And we looked down on people that had aspirations in England to be middle class. And you could normally tell because they would, they would have a phony accent. You know, they would try and not sound the way they naturally should. Northern people and northern working class people were discriminated against. So these transgressions are true, but the place and the, uh, the, uh, in the arena in which these transgressions are, uh, uh, are greatest is in class oppression day in, day out from capitalist society. You don't have to duck, sweetie. <laughs> My wife walked by. Anyway, just, yeah, just, just sharing some stuff. What the hell?